Hi, so last week you guys decided that you wanted to um, see my diaper bag on my 36 week video I asked you and it got a lot of likes so I took that out as you want to see it. So without further ado, we're going to do our um, hospital bag slash diaper bag because um, it's not really a diaper bag yet because she's not really here yet so hospital diaper bag. It is so cute. It's a petunia pickle bottom. Um, these are designer uh, diaper bags. There's some at like Toys R Us, I think, or Babies R Us. But I have not seen this pattern anywhere. I found this one on Craigslist. Got it for like $40. And I just love it. I think it's really cute. Um, the back has the option of you can wear it as a backpack or you can wear it just as on the side. So I've been wearing it as a backpack because it's a lot more comfortable and it's cute. So yes, I really love it. All right, so opening it up. All right, when you open it, see this front pocket right here, it zips down. And I have stuff in here, so it's gonna all fall out. But there's a changing pad that comes out, see that? So you just can fold it out and change. I apologize for my um, my voice. I'm sick, I caught a cold, so eh. All right, so in the front pocket here, I just packed a few diapers. I know they're probably gonna provide them with the hospital, but um, I was just like, just in case. So I packed a few in there, and these are actually samples I got in the mail. <laughs> so um, that was before I even bought any newborn diapers or got any. Um, these are some breast milk storage bags. Again, another sample I got in the mail. Um, this is the um, Arm & Hammer um, bag you can put your diapers in. You know, it hooks to your diaper bag. Um, I don't know if I'll be using this right away, but I stuck it in here just to keep things kind of organized. I have a lot of nipple pads. Um, they probably provide these at the hospital too, but just in case. And I know my milk's probably not going to come in until, you know, a few days later. Because um, I am only planning on being in the hospital for a day. Uh, there's really no need for me to stay there longer than that. So that's kind of what I'm planning for. A and D ointment. I don't know if she's going to need that right away. But. And some wipes. Samples. <laughs> Where did I get all these samples from? I'm trying to remember. So I can tell you, um, I just signed up for like a ton of baby websites as soon as I found out I was pregnant and I was just like getting free things by the day. So it's pretty nice. Oh, this is going to definitely come in handy. Um, nipple cream, lanolin, lansino. Yeah, that's the brand everybody recommends. Ooh, just fell. All right. That was all in the front pocket. Now we're gonna go to the middle pocket. I have a few outfits that I really like um, that I haven't decided what I want her to wear yet. And also, you know, I wanted to bring a few change of clothes just in case we do have to stay there longer than I expect. This is gonna be her going home outfit. <laughs> I think it's so cute. And you know, she's due on Easter, so if, hey, if she comes out on Easter, I think this would be like the perfect little Easter dress. I think it's so cute. Some other options with clothing are this set, which I also really like because it matches the colors in her room. Um, so I was like, oh, that's cute. I got little shoesies. She probably won't wear them, but it's like, they're cute. That's the thing. I mean, I live in Florida, so I really don't think I'm going to need, you know, socks, blankets, that kind of stuff because it's already starting to get pretty warm. But I mean, these last few days and last few weeks really have been a little chilly. So, I mean, just in case I've packed, you know, a few things like hats. I got three hats here. It's just like a little bonnet. This is a hat, um, little polka dots. And this one has little bunnies on it for Easter. <laughs> it says jump, jump, jump. I darkened it up a little bit so you can see better. I brought a swaddle blanket. I don't even know how to really use these things. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up a YouTube video because I don't know how to do it. Um, brought two receiving blankets. Just ones I got in my shower. 
This is the cutest bib of all time. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. I think it'll go really cute with the going home outfit. Oops. Oh my gosh, I think it's so cute. Little girl stuff, the best. Brought her some jammies, just in case she needs them. I don't know if she will, but I don't really know. I've never done this before, so I'm kind of new at this. So if you guys see anything that I'm missing, let me know. I got two pacifiers. Oh, this is really cool. Let me show you this. My best friend, Bethany, made me this. It's a pacifier holder that you can clip to her shirt. Like that. I found out something like this on Pinterest and I asked her to make something for me and this is what she made. It's adorable. And at the end, you just attach the pacifiers. See? So I got a little pacifier holder with the pacifiers. I love this so much. I just, and I have a few more items of clothing like this little owl shirt because I love owls. And I think she look cute. Um, this dress. I mean, like I said, she's not even going to wear this stuff. <laughs> I just, <laughs> this is what happens when I pack my clothes, okay? When I go somewhere and travel, I bring way too much, more than I need. So, can't expect anything less from her. Pants, more pants. Um, and I'm going to put some headbands in here too. I have two, like, cartons full of accessories already. Um, so, yeah, she's. I think she's pretty stocked there. And then I have the little booties and the little mittens. Okay guys, these are freaking awesome. Okay, I just went to a party. Um, it was a bachelorette party. And uh, these were part of the little party. And they're called Hugs and Kisses. And what they do is, right now they're solid because I used them yesterday. But uh, once I boil them in water for seven minutes, they turn into like a gel. And they have little discs in here, little silver discs. You just click it. And the whole thing heats up. I think it's like a hundred and something degrees Fahrenheit. And um, they feel so good. Put them on your back. A lot of people use them for like period cramps and stuff. So I'm thinking these will come really in handy during contractions. So I'm like, I'll just bring these along. And I won't be able to keep using them. Because I won't have like a stove to boil them. But I just thought that was really nifty. I just have like a few plain onesies. It's like... Yeah, because everyone says, pack onesies, pack onesies. So I packed some onesies. <laughs> yeah, that's it for her bag. And also coming with this is the boppy. This is actually, um, I thought this was like a cover, so I put it on my registry. But it's really just like a water-resistant cover, and it's not an actual cover cover. So um, I have to buy a cover for it, but... Help! I found this blanket at the store. I was with my mother-in-law and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So she bought it for me. His little owl. So I'm just gonna put this in her car seat. Um, just in case it's chilly when we're coming home. One more thing that I almost forgot. I'm bringing a journal just to document like when she's eating, when she's feeding, where well, that's the same thing. Um, when I'm changing her diaper, etc., etc., And to just document my first thoughts on being a mom and motherhood and all that good stuff. Writing is definitely therapeutic for me. So uh, definitely wanted a journal. So I got one the other day just for this purpose. So that's all that's in my diaper bag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if I'm missing something or if there's something that you would bring and put in your bag that I don't have. And um, I will see you guys later this week for my 37 week update. Honey, okay. are you dilated yet? <laughs> Alright, get out of my video.